What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to divide a decimal number by another decimal number using a cheeky little trick. So let's go. Today we're going to be using short method of division so hopefully this will be quite quick especially with this little trick we're going to learn. So 6.4 divided by 0 0.5 means that 6.4 sits inside of our bus stop and 0 0.5 sits outside. Well, we need to remember today that divisor has to be a whole number. The divisor is the number outside of our bus stop. It wouldn't matter if this is a decimal, but this divisor has to be a whole number. So how can we turn this 0 0.5 into a whole number? Well, I could multiply it by 10. And if I multiply this by 10, I end up with 5. 0 0.5 times 10 is 5. And if I didn't know how to do that, I could use my place value chart to help me. But hopefully you do, so I'm going to move on. Now I have 5 as my divisor and 6.4 as my dividend. But now I have a bit of an imbalance because I multiplied this side by 10. I now need to multiply this side by 10 also to keep my question equivalent. And 6.4 multiplied by 10 equals 64. So the way that I can look at it now is that this question here is equivalent to the first question we had and therefore my answer will be also equivalent or in other words the same. So let's get rid of that first one and let's work on this question here. And I can simply do how many fives are there in six? There is one with one left over. How many fives in 14? Two with four left over. So I could put remainder four but it seems a bit silly when we've been working with decimals to not turn this into a decimal. So the way that we turn it into a decimal is by putting my decimal point in place and then adding a zero because that will not change the value of this 64. But it gives me a little place now to put the four that we carried across. How many fives are there in 40? There are eight. So my final answer is 12.8. Lovely. Let's step it up. And now let's look at a orange chili challenge, which is 4.4 divided by 2.5. And again, the divisor can't be a decimal, so I have to turn this 2.5 into a whole number. By, and I can multiply it again by 10 to get to 25. Now, if I'm multiplying the divisor by 10, I also have to multiply the dividend by 10. And 4.4 times 10 is 44. So now I have a two-digit divisor, but that doesn't make it any harder. We can just simply work out how many 25s are there in 4, 0, carry the 4 across. How many 25s are there in 44? Well, there's 1 and 19 left over. So I'm going to put my decimal, my 0, and then 19. Make sure I put my decimal on the top row as well. How many 25s are there in 190? Well, there are 7, but I have... 15 left over so again I've got something left over so I can just add, add another zero put my 15 in place it is 150 how many 25s in 150 I have six so my final answer is 1.76 easy again nice little trick isn't it let's look at our red chili challenge and before I begin this time I'm simply going to turn this into an equivalent question down here. So I know that I'm going to have to multiply this by 10, which would equal 732 divided by 15. So let's write it as that straight away. And let's see how many 15s in 7? 0. How many 15s in 73? There will be 4, would get me to 60, and therefore 13 left over. How many 15s in 132? There's 8. That would get me to 120. Now I need to put my decimal in place, put a zero and the 12 remaining in front of it. And 120 divided by my 15 is 8. So my final answer is 48.8. .8. Simple and a great little trick to know. Now it's your turn. Have a go at these three questions here. Use the short method of division if you can. If not, use the expanded long method. But put your answers in the comments section and I'm going to try and mark every single one. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to divide a decimal by a decimal. If you want more help with your maths, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads of helpful videos with everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.